Port Nalunga, just over 30 kilometres from the CBD. It's a fair way from the CBD in Adelaide terms, but it's right on the beach, and what a beautiful beach it is. You've got an aquatic reserve, you've got a reef, you've got surf beaches, uh, very popular beach, how do I know? As a young kid, our parents would take us down there because it was perceived to be such a lovely beach, and it still is also very popular with divers, um, many fish in and around that reef. So far as housing is concerned, as the name suggests, it was an old port. So there are a lot of old houses. The reason I mention that is that character houses or old houses are the best type of houses to renovate. So if you're keen on renovation, then I would be looking at the older style homes in Port Nalunga. Port Nalunga is a classic example of an area that's gone through the gentrification process. In the old days, it was a down and out, blue collar type of area, uh, pubs where there'd be fellas in their blue singlets drinking the local beer and eating chips and peanuts out of the packet. Now you drive past the pub, much more upmarket. The beer they're drinking out of the bottle is Corona, it's not local beer, and they're dipping their pit of bread into their tapas. So certainly the, uh, the demographic in the area has changed. Reasons you should consider buying in Port Nalunga, very cheap seaside suburb. Adelaide's median house price is around 410,000. At the moment, Port Nalunga's median house price is only 340,000 and you're at a beautiful beachside suburb. Very good uh, renovation opportunities because of the abundance of character homes in the area and outstanding development opportunities. Council has just rezoned the area and you're able to build on 150 square metres so in theory, you could buy yourself a 750 square metre block and build five units on there. So some great renovation opportunities and even better development opportunities. Best parts of Port Nalunga to buy in. The closer you are to the beach, the better off you're going to be. A view of the water is also ideal. And it's not just the sea, but also the Onkaparinga River is on the boundary of Port Nalunga and there are opportunities for view of the Onkaparinga River Basin which is also a big plus and proximity to the Port Nalunga village which is where a lot of the cafes and the restaurants and the bakeries and the shops are concentrated on. So they would be the, in, in particular the parts of Port Nalunga that I would be focusing on. Areas to avoid, main road is Dyson Road uh, very busy, so don't buy any residential property there. And also, uh, there's a, a part of Murray Road which is also quite busy, so I would be avoiding those two streets in particular. 